Hey yo, what's up? Yeah man, I'm at UCL, I'm just walking around. Uh, about to get uh, over by the buildings and everything. And walk around. So, yeah man, uh, Mike over there shopping. I'm pretty much just walking around. Right now, y'all, I found out one thing, man, it's crazy. I've been, like right after I injured my foot, uh, I worked for my uh, relatives for two days in a row, man. Two days pulling, uh, well, cutting the weeds down and uh, vacuuming the pool and cleaning the lawn furniture and everything, man. You know what I found out? I done broke my little pinky toe, man. I worked for two days on a broken toe. I didn't even know it. And I've been riding my bike and everything, walking. I mean, it been hurting. I've been taking Tylenol and ibuprofen. Yo, <clears throat> I started taking just ibuprofen and Tylenol. That extra strength shit, man, that knocked me on my ass, man. Let me tell you, it was like, it was crazy, for real. It was like nuts, man. I was like so just like out of it and loopy and <laughs> it was crazy, man. Just let me tell you, it was crazy. So, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, man. Uh, so, uh, I guess there ain't much you can do for a broken toe. Just kind of let it heal. Uh, I got little toe separators and everything. Uh, trying to line it back up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you want to know how I broke my toe, man? I got mad. And, uh, because I couldn't get into my bike at you all and I done kicked their door, man. A steel door. My dumb ass done kicked a steel door. Wonder why I got a broken toe. Right? Well, it's crazy, right? Anyway. Yeah, man. Yo. What you gonna do though? Right. Yeah man, and my foot was so swollen. I was like having trouble finding the shoe that would fit on my foot there for a while. It was all black and blue. But it's healing up. It's healing up buttercup. Alright, you yeah. I'm walking right like underneath the buildings and everything. So I got a little bit of shade. Now I'm in the sun again, man, because when you go from building to building. Yeah man. I just kinda trying to walk right because i need to get my blood sugar down uh that's why i've been riding my bike every day too uh yeah so i've been doing a little bit of car camping out and uh and shit like that uh laid the truck out with the bed in it and everything just trying to i kind of fight with mike and i can't stay at my aunt's house right now uh for reasons i don't really want to discuss right now uh, I might like let y'all know later, but anyway, I can't stay in my aunt's house right now for a couple weeks to a month, probably. So, uh, yeah, I just been chilling in my in my truck and stuff at the parks and at night, uh, Wawa, uh, Walmart, stuff like that. Yeah. Yo, oh, man, check out my shorts, man. I got new speedos. Ain't they sexy, man? Yeah, and they got that. He's here too. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, look at that. Oh, <laughs> nah, for real. So, anyway, I decided to sit on the table because my foot was hurting a little bit. Anyway, uh, I think I'd be broken wearing off too. Anyway, so, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I just like staying at Walmart, uh, parking lot, or no, um, shop right open pretty late too. And then, uh, you know, Wawa or whatever. Just move around every once in a while so people don't really see what you're doing. And my truck got tinted windows anyway, like in the back, pretty pretty tinted. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I do some videos about how I got my truck laid out and everything. Anyway, uh, we in the truck right now uh, doing some yard selling so the truck ain't laid out to sleeping right now. I had to put all my, my bedding and everything uh, in U-Haul. Yeah, I had to put all that in U-Haul while we are selling, so we had real for stuff in the truck. But it, it, it all rolls up. I got like a, a yoga mat, but a real thick yoga mat, like like three inch yoga mat that fold up uh, and make a nice bed. Then I got a sleeping bag, and I got one of them nice comfy pillows with the arm rest, you know, so you can like, lean up against and be comfy. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, but the one thing about like car life and, and, and trying to live in the truck, right now I find it difficult that uh, when I used to live in the cars, um, really wasn't an issue because right nowadays I'm diabetic and 
it's a little hard to find food that you can carry around with no refrigeration you know way to really cook i gotta get like a little camp stove or a propane thing like i've seen people do online the little propane thing that has a little bowl looking thing and then you cook on top of it with a frying pan yeah i need to get something like that but yeah um one of the issues i'm facing right now is how to uh how to like you know eat and everything because everything that you can kind of get a hold of like conveniently without cooking and refrigeration is pre-packaged and all that stuff is so high in the sugar and carbs and that is not good for a diabetic it is not diabetic friendly so i need to find some so if y'all have any suggestions uh if y'all diabetic and trying to live like that too like in band life or whatever not that anything is wrong with it it's just what i'm doing right now because well it's all i got so <laughs> but uh yeah i kind of like that life a little bit because i used to live like that right i used to live in the van i used to live out in a stripped out cargo van yeah and we used to do flea markets and festivals and carnivals and we followed like the advertising alliance and we was like almost carnies but we really wasn't carnies because well we uh we followed them but we didn't really stay with the carnival company we had our own car like and we lived in the van with our merchandise but anyway yeah that was like 20 some years ago and i did that with kevin and well he ain't around no more you know what i mean he passed away so well i'm kind of just doing this on my own and uh yeah i gotta realize i'm like you know being solo ain't the same as being part of a, a team you know so back in that, them days we had like three people with us and now it's just me all by my lonesome yeah i'm kind of lonesome guys i ain't gonna lie it does get lonely anyway uh yeah this is just a lot a little bit of a life update for y'all and uh yeah so uh i'm just gonna pretty much end this video here um just doing a little update for you guys all right so much love peace